Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Mr. Wellington back here sleeping by the fire. And we have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I've got a pretty fair size haul that I wanna share with you and it is really in no particular order. I've kinda of got a mess over here, but I wanna get it recorded for you. It is Saturday, you'll see this on Tuesday and it's still snowy out there. I know. All right, let's get into it. Um, I decided that's me. Girl power. I may not iron the girl power on, but I definitely like the, the superhero. And this is an iron-on transfer. So I thought that would be fun. I know I've seen it before, but today it just spoke to me. And I grabbed it, or whatever day it was. I'm not, I think I got that today. Um, I finally got these into my store, the Be Mine Forever and Lots of Love. I liked this color scheme. Like everybody, I think they missed on the ribbon, but that's fine. Oh, you can see my TV. Um, I think they missed on the ribbon. It's already all over the place and it's even twisted. But I have a ton of ribbon, so I'm not too worried. I almost bought a second one to paint up, but I decided one is fine. So I grabbed that for some holiday decor. Um, when they come out with these about once or twice a year, I like to pick up a pair. These are pretty decent scissors for crafting. Um, they do cut well. And um, when I cut things with wire, they get gross and need to be replaced. So I just grabbed a new pair and I like them in black. But these are great crafting scissors, I will tell you that. And let's see, in the, oh, for my East, or not my Easter, my Valentine's Day planner spread, I got some Valentine's stickers. So the week of Valentine's Day, I'll use these stickers in my planner, which I think is exciting. And they are, uh, I think they, are, they have a white border, but I just loved the mason jar and the typewriter. That's what really spoke to me. And then on the back, there's the bee, which I might use for another haul, another spread, because I have those bee gnomes from Sarah um, in the UK. I have a, no, a summertime. I'm going to use those for a whole month. I think I'm going to do bee themed. So I grabbed those. This for that. Um, my store is coming out with their back to school summer spring. I guess spring fling is the, is what they're calling it. This is not... They had it out with it, so I'm not sure, but these are hard plastic individual plates. And you get, I don't know how many, six or eight, one, two, three, four, six. And they had them in these two colors of teal, a hot pink and a purple. And when I, I'll be talking about this until I go, but when I go to Canada for my trip, I'm gonna bring one of these for my hotel room. Um, if you saw my other haul, I plan on um, having meals or just quick stuff to have in my room for food since I do have a specialized diet and it just makes me comfortable to know that I have stuff with me whether I need it or not. And I thought I'll just bring a pack of plates. I can These are plastic so I can wash them off. And then I grabbed these. Oh my gosh, you see? And these are just party cups, but what I'm going to do is bring my yogurt. It's... I buy it in the bigger container and I can just scoop out a serving, put some yogurt in, yogurt serving in here and granola on top and that will be my breakfast. So these, I'll probably just bring one of these and this package and then some plastic silverware and call it. I don't need a lot, but it's time, you know, it's time to start thinking about those things and we'll leave them in this bag. Uh, my trip is not tomorrow for sure, but it is coming up. I grabbed these, so mine glasses on the go. Now, you might say, girl, why Why you need those? When I do cross-stitching, I'm very far-sighted. So we should all exact understand. I'm extremely far-sighted. And I'm trying to find something that I could potentially put over or under. I don't know why they're stick. I guess you could stick them places. I don't know. Something that I could put over my glasses or under that would magnify. Oh, that's not bad. Um, it's weird. 
for sure. But definitely is not strong enough. I'd have to work with it. But I think these are pretty cool, especially if you use readers. You just stick them on. This is definitely not enough for me. Uh, this is plus, the magnification on here is plus 1.5, I believe. Yeah, my glasses at the top are plus 3.75 and at the bottom plus five, I think, my bifocal. So I'm, I have a vision, I, I have some vision issues. But these are great, and they come with a clip so you can put them on your keychain or double stick tape, and you can attach this can, this little case and then pull them out if you just need them, especially for those of you, those of you who use readers. I just wanted to try them and see. I don't know if it'll work or not. That's okay. It's okay. Ugh. I was like, what is that noise? My ice maker. Okay, now these, I have been on the hunt for these. I cannot tell you how long. I know I saw these hauled last year and they're just labels. They're chalkboard sticker labels. And I love them because they're black and I love doing black and white labels. This is the first time I've seen them in any of my stores a year later. So that's telling you guys, just keep your eyes out because you just never know. So I grabbed two packages. You get 18 labels on each one and these are great for organizing. Yes, I have a Cricut and I can make my own and I do, but I wanted these and I found them and now I'm happy. See how easy that is? And then they had these labels and these are, it says it's 20 pieces. Unless I'm missing something. So we're going to open this up. Because I don't see how there's... Ah, yes I do. There's multiple sheets of these labels. That is how. You get two sheets. So you get 20 of these labels. And they're also stickers. I love a good label. And I love these for Christmas presents. If you're going to go minimalistic or any type of storage containers. It's that time of year. Okay, we're just gonna take that out. I was, I couldn't figure out how there was 20 in there, but now I know. Two sheets. And they're on a plastic background and they are sticky. I would still add more sticky to it. Um, I found I don't know if you guys watch Frugal J's channel, but she had mentioned she was on the hunt for these and I know she's sending me the beads because I couldn't find them. So I grabbed two packs. I will send them back to her and anything else fun I might find. Um, so I grabbed two more packets and this is all I've seen. This was the last two at my one store. So, but I will tell you of my four to five stores that I go to, only one has a really Easter out yet. So that gives me hope I'll find them again, but I have, I have plenty for me and I will send these along when I get her address. I also bought one more package of these paintbrushes on my last haul, I did open it up and I think it's a fantastic value. I mean, for these brushes alone, the big ones and then the foam brush, I love these. And you get seven paintbrushes in here for $1. So that's pretty good. These chip brushes are great too for like glue and Mod Podge and stuff. And I usually throw them away after a little while. So I just, when I saw them, I did grab one more. That's trash, okay. And I will put this in here so I don't lose it. I found these car erasers, magic eraser sponges for your car. Gray sponge is ideal for removing bugs without scratching. After using the sponge, it is recommended to apply wax or polish on the surface. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna take this to my car or not, but I do have a couple marks from the car wash. My car is white, so I think just taking it and very lightly just getting some of the marks off. We're gonna try that. So we're gonna put that in here because this goes in the garage for springtime. 
because I it's 12 degrees today. Yeah. We don't need any part of that. All right. What do we got in here? All kinds of stuff. Oh, I found... I don't think I'll have time to do it before Valentine's Day, but I found the little Valentine's gnome. He's so cute. And this is the um, ceramic stuff that you paint and then you can seal it. And I was gonna spray paint it and then paint the hearts and stuff, pink or red. Um, There's always next year, right guys? And I got it and it'll get put up with my Chris or my Valentine's Day stuff. And um, they had a car too. But I didn't need the car. I found these on a hanger thing. And these are for your brooms. So you just kind of snap your brooms or mops. And I grabbed two from my garage. And what I'm going to do when it's warmer is attach these to the wall like you do. And so I can hang up my mops and brooms. And then in here hang it this way you can hang like a duster or a dustpan on this little hook and they seem pretty sturdy so I think for me four is sufficient for any of my brooms that I have I have brooms for outdoors indoors and some mops so I grabbed two and I know that somebody said they were in the hardware section too if those seem more sturdy you know maybe I'll switch it up or hang more than two but for now I think two is sufficient so that's also will go in this bag it probably will not happen till spring because my garage is cold guys okay um i grabbed they had the kiss brand of paint on nail polish i am not currently wearing fingernails because my hands are so dry and what i did here today i was getting um ice off of my wind my windshield wipers down in the crevice was all hard ice and I took my ice scraper like this and it hit my finger and busted it open again. This is Luco tape. It's just holding the skin together. But when my hands and they were getting better too. <laughs> when my hands are better and I go back to wearing nails, even press on nails, I use um, this glue. If one pops off, I just use a little bit of the glue and it works great. And I've used the Dollar Tree brand, but I saw the Kiss brand and I thought, well, that's a name brand. Let's grab some of that just to have on stuff. And I think over here somewhere else I have a different, um, a different fingernail stuff. Then I found by the brand Hass. And these are called Unwind, and these are hair masks. And for my length of hair and the volume that's in here, I can get three hair masks out of one package. This is 1.8 fluid ounces. They come in Pinot Grigio, which is shine and smooth. I just think it's so fun. And this one, uh, they're inspired by wine. It's infused with wine, lemon, and pear extract to help smooth and revive that glow for your hair. So I grabbed this one. And then they had um, Unwind Province Rosé Inspired, which is infused with wine, rose, watermelon extracts. This is for color protect and revitalize. And this is going to go in Sarah's Easter basket for her because she color treats her hair. So I grabbed her one. Oh, at the end, I will put up a picture of Sarah because I, I took one today for you guys. And then this is Sauvignon Blanc inspired shine and nourish. And I got this for my hair and it's infused with wine, apple and watermelon extracts, free of sulfates, parabens and artificial color. So all of these are by the brand Hask. And if you have anybody in your life that likes to paint for themselves, this is a great Easter basket edition. They're fun. I mean, you could even do like a bottle of wine, a wine glass, a couple of these, a face mask, a pamper yourself night. I mean, how fun would that be? And I just think they're super fun. And so I grabbed them. I'm sure they were probably for Valentine's Day if I had to guess, but I'm using them for Easter. And I may give the, other, the third one away. We'll see. Which, buddy, you like that fire today. They love laying by that fire. I think Alex is upstairs. Um, oh, I found some more 
of this faux leather. This is like the red brown color, which I love. I'm still looking for the white and black. If I find the white, I'm going to get a couple because I want to make some book sleeves. But um, this is the reddish brown color that they have. And I also have the navy blue. That was fun. Um, I bought some food items, more keto stuff at the Dollar Tree. Keto is a little hard at the Dollar Tree, but it can happen. I grabbed some medium salsa. Love salt. Like, I love salsa. And honestly, when I go to Canada, I could probably take some of this size jar is perfect with a bag of um, pork rinds or my keto Doritos that I showed in my food haul. And this is pretty good. This brand is decent. And it would work out great. And also, if I have some hard-boiled eggs, I can pull this on hard-boiled eggs for breakfast. Who knows what I'm bringing? I have ideas, but it'll it'll come to fruition when I get closer. But I like this, and this is a great size for for me. And then I just grabbed some sugar-free Jello. This is not necessarily clean keto, but I will tell you, when you're wanting something dessert-wise, take some of this and and some of the canned sugar-free um, whipped cream. On top, it's a delicious treat to have if you're really needing something. So I like to keep something like this on hand just for that purpose, just to have. So that's how I don't, that's how I don't break my, um, go off my way of eating and get my blood sugar out of control. I found some signs in the garden section, which I'm dying. Now, if you know me or if you watch my channel, I love a good pun. And this sign says, Garden of Whedon. <laughs> I love it. It just cracks me up. Garden of Whedon. Now, here's the thing, Dollar Tree. Can we at least try to get our ribbons hung properly? I will put a new ribbon on here because that will drive me nuts. But Garden of Whedon. I love it. Just a nice little sign. I'll probably go up here in my front window in the spring. And then I have all things grow with love. And I love that this one has a plant steak in it. Or you can you can hang it, but I wouldn't. I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to put this in my flower bed out front. I need another one that says Garden of Whedon. All right, I'm done cracking myself up. I mean, I'm not really done cracking myself up. Um, I grabbed these. I love these. These are fantastic. Um, I love the egg crate. So what I'm going to do is hot glue these eggs into this egg crate so they stay and then wrap the ribbon after I take it out of the cellophane and put it in my tiered tray for Easter. But I want to attach them with hot glue to this egg tray so the whole thing can sit in there and they won't fall out. So I love those Easter eggs. Um, I grabbed this again with the bees. I'm loving this. I think I had this from, I think I saw this last year, but I also think mine broke, but I love bees. And I really felt, feel like this would look really nice sitting behind me on my coffee table or Again, on your tiered tray or even on a coffee station. You can put your sugar in here or something. I don't know. I like it. I like the shape and the gold. And this year, they even wrapped it in cellophane. So my spring stuff, I need to find a home for. Um, and also, I grabbed one of these. Now, this is just a hanging jar. But this one, they had them in with gold bands and silver. And you can take this off. So I think what I probably will do is take it off to run this glass through the dishwasher and then put this back on. I am obsessed with this. And I will probably, I have some shelves over there. I will sit it with the rope in front and then put maybe some like greenery or something in front of it. I think that would be fantastic, but I love this wholeheartedly, but it does need a good wash. So I can just take it apart. I think it was designed designed to come apart, which is great. Um, yeah, so I think so. And then put some, just maybe one little flower or greenery or something in that. So I do have to decide what I'm gonna do with all my spring stuff. Probably put it in the garage in the tote until spring. Um, okay, let's keep moving here. 
Oh, I already showed you that. Oh, I bought some ibuprofen. I had a headache. Okay. My receipts, guys. I've been keeping all my receipts, and tonight I'm going to scan them all into fetch. Um, I grabbed just the plain bumblebee tuna. I really like this stuff. The plain does not come with the spoon, um, which is fine. I need to find some packets. Oh, I really wish they had packets of Duke's mayonnaise. I'm going to have to go online and see if I can find any individual. I mean, I guess I could just bring a little jar, but a packet one packet and one packet is perfect for me so we'll see but i take these backpacking i take them camping i use them for all kinds of stuff and i love tuna fish and this is july of 2024 is your best buy date um tuna patties tuna melts are delicious i eat a lot of this especially in the summertime so that just is some more keto food that i found at the dollar tree and then these, I don't know what they are, but I mean, I know what they are. They're gold feathers, but I think they're individual stickers, which I think will be fun in my planner. Oh, they are. Yes, they, well, they are stickers and they're not stickers. I was kind of hoping they were like individual stickers, but they have the little sticker tab on the back, but I can use a glue gun or glue and put these in my planner for one month or one spread um, because this I'm sure yeah comes off super easy it's just a little a little raised tab of sticky on the back it raised up it raises it up but I'm a hundred percent sure you can just peel it off yep just peel it off and now you can use a glue gun or a glue roller or even like liquid glue and just attach it to your planner oh these are fun I want to do a, a, a more like a boho theme. Oh, remember those butterfly stickers I found? This would be fun with those. And I think they had them in, I got them in gold, obviously, but I think they had them in white too or silver. But you get 12 pieces of varying size. So small, medium. It looks like small, medium, and large. I prefer the small and the medium, but that's me. So I grabbed those for some crafty fun. I need to get some more crafting done, guys. I have been slacking. Um, oh, okay, I found this pot. I love just black right now. Black is like everything to me. And if you haven't noticed, I really love plants. And I love that this has the holes in the bottom. So I need to replant some stuff. So this I thought would be perfect to replant something small in. That's going to be for spring. I have, I'm looking at a plant, one, two, three different plants. They can use a new home this spring. And that's, these are good for that. And then what I do is I buy the plastic, just a plastic tray that they can sit in. Dollar Tree sells them. Um, I think two or four for a dollar of this size. And catch any water because that wa the water will come right out. So I put rocks at the bottom, dirt, my plants, and then I sit it in a tray to catch the water, and that's really good for drainage. Then I grabbed one more of these, and I got this to put up in my bathroom. So with my diabetes, I take a shot every night, and it's a pen. So it has a needle, but the needle has a lid and a cap. So I don't need a technically sharps container, but if in the evening, and there's no like blood or anything involved. I can just drop them in here. And when this is full, take it to the trap, you know, take it downstairs and throw it away. Not this, but empty out the little pen needles from here. And this will sit right on my bathroom where my shot is every night on the counter. And I liked the just black of it. And it can go in a cabinet or whatever. But I thought I have been using an old vitamin jar. And I was like, well, this is lives a little better than I found. So we'll do that see how it works out um, because I don't need a sharps container that um, you know I don't have to have a sharps container that will work fine oh I found well I've seen this before but I just picked up some vinegar uh, this is 23.6 ounces this is leaping leopard vinegar I have a gallon of vinegar upstairs I use this for cleaning a lot um, 
I have very hard water here where I'm at. And so like things need to get soaked in vinegar on occasion. And typically I will like boil my tea kettle, put it back in here, run it through my Keurig, put it back in here. But after a couple go rounds, it's kind of yucky. So I just throw it away. So I just use this for cleaning. Cleaning purposes. You know, we all got to do that every once in a while. They make us. Um, I'm up to $20 on my Fetch app, and I'm wondering after today, I have all of these to scan tonight. If you don't know what Fetch is, it's an app. I've been talking about it because I think it's fantastic. But you, everybody, you, you get the app, you log in. I have a code. If you use my code, you'll get free points. And every 3,000 points, you can cash in three or 5,000 for like a $5 gift card or a $3 gift card or save it up for like a 20 or 50 or a $100 gift card to different businesses. And it's just fun. I'm trying to see if I can get Fetch and Ibotta to pay for my Christmas this year. But we'll see. I found the bunnies. These are, and you're not going to be able to see them really good, but just the, the bunny wire frame. If there was ever a time that I would use deco mesh, it would be for Easter, I feel like. But again, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just wrap these in, up here, like the ears in uh, yarn or something. I don't know. I grabbed two of these, but I also grabbed one of this. This is a huge... A huge wreath form but look the bunny fits like inside of this this is a I think it's an 18 inch I know I've seen these before but not recently yes this is an 18 inch wreath form I mean I could do a double layer and have something so cute for my front door do a white bunny and even if I was thinking about it I could do like a bunny head and a get the smaller one and do a body and have it backwards and put like a tail on it. I wouldn't use the 18 inch for that. They have a smaller one, but you could attach them together and make a bunny body. I just think they're fun. And this one is broken. I just noticed, but I can, I can work on it. The, you have to just watch these come apart, but that's fine. I grabbed two. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. And then I found a single one of the four leaf clover. And look at this one. It's 3D. Like there's, this is sticking out. Again, I might do like deco mesh, green deco mesh on here. I think that would be kind of fun. I'm just tired of wrapping everything in rope and yarn. So I'm trying to think. But this is a four leaf clover. If I don't get to it this year, that's fine. But I could maybe even wrap it in ribbon or something. But I liked that, so I grabbed it. I only saw one at my store. And for a dollar, I feel like it's a good, a good thing to have. Um, I grabbed a soap dispenser because I hated the one that was in my kitchen. And then I realized what I was doing wrong. Yeah, so <laughs> I will use this soap dispenser. I'll be in my bathroom. But I have a dispenser in my kitchen that does dish soap. And I bought two at Target and both of them, the, the dish soap would come out and it's because Dawn is so thick. So when I water it down, it doesn't do that. So I have my third purchase of a dish soap dispenser, added water to it and it's perfectly fine. But in the interim, I had purchased just a white dispenser, hand soap, nothing, nothing super fancy there. But I also found uh, one package only, and these are definitely bigger this year. So I know a lot of stuff at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar 25 Tree, mine's still a dollar, but at the Dollar Tree, it gets smaller. But these are actually larger. Like this is bigger. I know it's bigger. It doesn't matter. But I got a four pack of those, and they'll go with my spring stuff. And then when I need to dig out my spring stuff, and then I go to this one store that has their bags. I swear these are the bags that you have to pay for in California. I think it's the state that if you don't bring a bag, you have to buy them because these bags are heavy duty. So I try to keep them if I'm going to be gifting stuff or giving stuff away. I use um, those bags. Oh, I have more. I have more guys. Okay. 
Oh, I think I showed you the other colors in a different haul, but I found these in white as well. These are just the little foam roses and they're the tiny ones. And I'm super excited to glue these onto a heart or, oh, no, they would take too many. But could you imagine taking like white roses and gluing them onto that bunny frame and making a white rose bunny with a pink bow? That might happen. Okay, just getting some big floral. Yeah, we're gonna do that, guys. Um, I found the little bunnies. These are just the little wooden bunnies. And again, one at my store. I'm not sure what's going on. Easter is coming and going real fast in my area. Trash. I found... <laughs> These are toilet bowl drops. So when you gotta go, number two... You have eucalyptus breeze, lavender spring, and fresh linen. I opened one. Just, it may work. I have one in my bathroom now. They look like a meal bottle. Like if you're going to get a Kool-Aid or something. So be very careful if you have children. Because this looks just like. Here I'll show you. I'll open one. It looks legitimately like a drink mix container. It's kind of crazy. So it comes out of the box like this. And look at it, it looks like drink mix, but it's not. It is, it's for the toilet before you poop. You drop a couple of drops in and it protects the smell. And I think the packaging is adorable. It's like on point. I'm telling you, these are like stocking stuffers. I did that one year. I gave all my brothers po poopery. They're boys, they needed it. But, so I did get one of each of the flavors and they work great. I've been using them in my bathroom. Also, while we're on the topics of bathrooms, I grab I grab several of these actually, four. These are all sapphire waters. They're soft scrub toilet cubes. You know I'm obsessed with this apparently. You drop it in the back of your toilet and flush. And it makes but it smells really good. Like my whole bathroom smells like this um sapphire water. And it's Soft Scrub brand, and it says, safe for septic tanks, toilet components, cleans and freshens with every flush, duo cube, in-tank automatic cleaner. It says it lasts up to 30 days. So I have, if anybody knows, I have four toilets in my house, but I only use, really use two. I wouldn't put these in a bathroom that, of a toilet that I'm not using. So the bathroom in my basement that I don't use, it, I just wash that once a week. And the bathroom in my office, I just scrub that once a week. I don't, I don't really use them, so I'm not gonna put that in there. Um, and we just have a couple more things to go here. Um, like I said, the spring fling stuff is coming out. These were a repeat from last year and I love them. I bought a bunch last year and used them in my craft storage, but these are actually gonna be for snacks. Um, and these lids do come out to wash and you can run it. I wouldn't run it through the dishwasher, but you can run it through some soap. But you got your lid that snaps on. And then in here, this is de a decent size. I've been really loving the mini cucumbers, like the little tiny, per I think they're Persian cucumbers. Cut them up in here, put some ranch, put them in my fridge. And then while I'm working, if I need a quick snack, I can just run downstairs and grab one and take it upstairs. Or if I pack my lunch, and one of them I was like carrots and peanut butter. I love these if you pack your kids lunch. And they're pretty easy for the littles to get in and out of. Um, the colors they had for spring are going to be this gray, this like tealy blue. I saw a pink and one other color. What I haven't seen, I'm, I'm on the hunch for, are the water bottles that they had last year. The hard water bottles. And they have like a rubber grip of the different colors. I got Sarah five of them for her classroom. She puts them in her refrigerator every day with water. So she has fresh water to drink and reuse. And then she takes them home on the weekends and washes them out. And I keep them in my refrigerator as well with fresh water. So I'm looking for those. I try to find them online to order a case for us. They're really that good. Um, but I just grabbed these two for my snack cabinet 
where I put my like Tupperware and stuff when I'm packing lunches. Then I grabbed a couple of these. One of them is upstairs. Um, if you saw my budgeting video, I'm collecting $1 bills. So when I spend cash, any $1 bills, they're gonna go in here. Because I think by the end of the year, I, should, I would like to be able to fill one of these full of $1 bills. So that's my goal. And this one, I don't know, I'll probably put nail stuff in it or who knows, but. They're nice. Again, I'm liking that Dollar Tree is coming out with the straight sides because I don't, the ones that are like this shape, you really can't put good stuff in. But these flat bottom, flat sided ones are really nice for storage. I just put my nail glue in there for now. And then speaking of, they came out with, and in my mind, I was like, I buy a fair amount of, um, I don't know why I hear water running a fair amount of stick on nails and these are nail tabs. So if you're just to put on stick on nails, so you just attach it to a fake nail. You don't have to use glue. Um, I got these as like a replacement if one of my nails pops off to try. So I grabbed two packages. It's the B color by, I think it's the B pure brand. It is manufactured four star group USA. I've been seeing a lot of this at the Dollar Tree. So I'm wondering if this isn't gonna be a new Dollar Tree brand, um, but we're gonna see how they work. And they're all different sizes, if you can see, and they just help, they're just sticky adhesives for fake nails. So I grabbed those to put in my nail kit. I'll get back to my nail coloring and stuff once my nails are not so, um, fingers aren't so sore. Then I've seen a lot of people hauling brushes, makeup brushes. I grabbed this one. It may end up in a, in a basket. It's a lip brush. And the brand is Urban Studio. Uh, made in China. It's a lip brush. You know, it's supposedly for that, but you can really use them for anything. So I'm going to start collecting the ones I find, and then we'll see what we'll do with them. I do need to replace some of my makeup brushes, so we'll see. And the last thing... It has to be the ding cutest thing I've seen. Uno Go. Guys, it's the game. It's Uno. I've opened it up because I had to see. I had to see what was in this box. And it is Uno. Look at the size. It is Tiny Tot Uno. Like what the heck? Look at my hand and directions and it's the real game it is uno oh my gosh i'm obsessed i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i mean i don't really play uno i mean i could i know how i do play games but this may end up on my wall shelf of kitschy little cute things that i find because it's a tiny little box of uno <laughs> all right guys that is everything on my giant dollar tree haul today my old man's asleep back here behind me get him up and we will finish up for the day. I hope you enjoy and you're having a fantastic Tuesday and I will talk with you later. Bye.